polish to talk about for this week in polish. We have a lot of non-polish stuff to talk about too. So let's start with the not so polishy polish talk as usual. So it was May Day on May 1st, obviously. Star Wars Day on the 4th. And then I went to see the Infinity War movie. We'll start there. Infinity War movie. Well, uh, okay, no spoilers, but I liked it. The ensemble movies are really hard for me because all of the characters get so little time because there's so many characters. It just feels a little bit choppy. And this movie was like, Envision the Star Wars trilogy movies where like the middle movie is the not so good outcome. Like the characters all are in this horrible spot at the end of the movie and you're like, how are they ever going to win? And then the third movie, they like win. So I feel like that was this movie for the Avengers whatever. It was like just hard. It was really hard. But anyway, no spoilers. I still liked it, but I cannot wait until the next one. So May the 4th, I hope, was with you. It was definitely with me. Lucy got her electric wheelchair on May 4th. So it was the best Star Wars day ever in the history of Star Wars days. She was so, so excited to get that chair. If you follow me on Instagram, I posted a picture and some videos of her driving it around for the first time. She was thrilled and that smile could make anybody's heart melt. Me, it makes my everything melt. It makes me so happy when she is so happy. And it's just, it's just good. She is gonna be mobile and running around like a crazy girl because she's been waiting for this for a long time. We've been trying to get this chair for two years. Yep, two years, I know. So those are some things that I had going on for me this week. Like I said, it's been a really busy week. We still have some beautiful polishes to talk about, and so let's do that. Let's get into the polish. So the first manicure I pulled out was this beauty. This is from the PCH collection from Orly a few years ago. It's called Road Trippin' and it's just a neon yellow, but I've said before and I will say again, these neons are some of my very, very favorites because you don't need a white base. This is like a quarter of the way gone. I've used it a lot since I've gotten it. It's been a few years. But this one now is getting a little bit thicker. I need to put some thinner in it because it is like the obnoxious thick formula now. It's kind of streaky when I try to apply it in two coats. But... It's almost perfect, other than that. When I put some thinner in it, it'll be perfect again. I love this color. This is obnoxious. Like, I got so many compliments on this color just before I did the nail art, but then there was nail art. Okay, guys, <laughs> these are all the colors I used for my nail art. I just can't get away from using all the colors in one manicure. Uh, meh. So it was May Day, and I figured May Day required flower manicure. So I did some flower nail art, kind of impressionistic. I don't know. It was really cute. I loved it. I always, always love flowers, and I try to hold myself back from doing flowers all the time because it's one of my favorite, like, easy nail art things to do is flowers. Anyway, I digress. So, all these polishes I used, there is this one called Long Road Trips, and it's from Emily Damali from Polish Pickup a few months ago. I need to use this in a full manicure. It was stunningly beautiful. High Hopes is like a dusty red orange color, and it's one of my favorite shiny blazes. This is a polish I just got. I have not tried it in a full manicure, but it's gorgeous. It's a medium bright pink, and there is some shimmer in there, but I didn't see it in my nail art. 
Um, it's That's Very Daring. I got that from TJ Maxx. And then the light pink is Kittredge from, oh dear. It's okay. No polishes were harmed. The light pink is Kittredge from Zoya, and this green is, what do you think? Too Yacht to Handle from China Glaze. So the next manicure I did was for Star Wars Day. I really wanted red and white because that was like the color scheme, red, white, and black for, I mean, Star Wars in general, but they really pushed it for The Last Jedi. So I thought red and white would be a good option. I used this beautiful thing. This is from the last month, two months ago, Polish Pickup. Um, it's Sayuri. Uh, from the book themed polish pickup and it's a thermal and this is the first thermal that I've ever tried Really, I feel like maybe forever ago like before I actually started being super into polish and collecting Maybe I tried a thermal polish. I don't know But I had to try this one because Phoebe raved about it and I really really loved it So it's this red color when it's cold and then when it warms up, it's a clear I put it over a white, so the warm color is like white and the cold color is red. And then I drew on like a half imperial symbol and half a rebel symbol on two of my nails so they kind of like, you know, you know, this thing. <laughs> uh, it turned out really good. I have definitely done way more extensive Star Wars manicures in the past. This was like the really simple version because I had a busy week. But I still really liked it. This polish is beautiful. There's like flakies and holographic and like little red glitters in here too. You'll see in my picture. But the polish was good. The manicure was good. Not my favorite favorite. But I still really liked it. And then for Infinity War, since I couldn't wear a Star Wars manicure to a Marvel movie, I had to change my polish. So I put what I have on now on my nails. This is from last month's polish pickup and it's I Am Groot from Pretty Jelly. This is my first Pretty Jelly and this finish is one of my favorite finishes. I love scattered holographic. I love like packed flaky polishes that are like chromey and just oh yummy. That's what this one is. This is flakies. A whole bunch of flakies and they're this aqua green blue teal color and there's some multi-chrome that are like green copper as well. I actually haven't taken pictures of this manicure yet. I put it on yesterday, two days ago. I still haven't taken pictures. Oh well, the future me will take pictures that you will be seeing in a second. But, oh my goodness, it's so, so pretty. I was gonna do some nail art, but I didn't have time. But that's okay. This polish is still gorgeous. That was all of my manicures for this week. I know I feel like that's like not very many, but it's my normal amount. I just didn't do that much nail art, but that's okay. It was a really busy week, such is life. Um, some other things that I have for you guys to look forward to, I filmed a tag video. I am almost done editing, so that will be up very soon, if not before this one. If it is, I'll link it up in the cards. Angie Willie tagged me, and it was fun to do. Also, I have the new Orly Neon Earth collection um, back here. If you see behind me, they look really pretty. Not as good as the PCH collection because, you know, I'm like a neon girl at heart, but... They look pretty awesome. So I have that to swatch and review for you guys. 
Also, I really want to do a nail art video. I haven't done one of those for a while. I don't know. We shall see what the week brings. But I really appreciate that you guys came to hang out with me for a little while. Definitely check back very soon for more videos, and I will see you then. Thanks, guys. Bye.